Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Buckle up, Buttercup, because I'm about to run through several hidden features on this knife. It is a slicer. It's a fun size EDC everyday carry knife. I'm going to do a fun size comparison. We'll go through the action, the ergos, and then I'm going to tell you about a sweet deal. And all of that is going to start right now. This is the Artisan Cutlery Ahab. <laughs> there are so... Arg. <laughs> I couldn't help it. There are so... So many features about this knife that I had no idea till I started looking it over and I was like, wait a minute, that's missing. That's missing. Wait a minute, that's missing. This knife is really, really cool now that I've got into it and checked it out. So first of all, this one has a rosewood handle. You can also get G10. It has a titanium alloy pocket clip. No mushrooms growing in the shade. You do have this bumpy over here. It's kind of right underneath. And I'll tell you more about that here in just a second. And look at this. Nice looking backspacer with, there's one of the hidden features. It has a recessed lanyard pin. So you don't have a hole going through. Look how clean this is. And do you see something else that's missing? I was looking at it. I was like, why does it look just so clean? Look, no pivot. No pivot because the pivot is covered by the scales. They've got all of it. It is a minimalist everyday carry knife. If you look at it from this, look, there's no screw in the pocket clip. They have taken all of the extra parts and put them underneath the scales to make it very clean. And speaking of scales, look at that. It has recessed liners. And before I talk any more about this knife, we got to check out the blade. You ready? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, 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 would you look at that? This is a looker of a knife without a doubt. It's eight inches overall, and your sharpen length is 8.47 inches. The blade stock is very thin. It's 106 thousandths of an inch. Behind the edge, 21 thousandths of an inch. It has a very tall, flat grind. And look at that. You like the poon? We got the poon. That is a very, it's no wonder I didn't even get the connection of why it was called the Ahab. Oh yeah, it's a harpoon blade. Duh. This knife only weighs three ounces. I, I, the more I look at this knife, the more I liked it. I was like, oh my goodness. I was getting, I was getting excited. Speaking of excited, have you checked out the price lately? Uh, I digress. <laughs> but here's that tall, flat grind. Nice satin finish. It's the AR RPM 9 steel. And look at these. These thumb studs are fantastic. Your thumb or your back or your middle finger, your back finger is not going to slip off of those thumb studs. They are very very nice. Look how clean this is. It is milled to the max on the inside and that's why it's so lightweight and for all of you that like the inset or the recessed liners, there's your recessed liners. You talk about a very clean knife. This was designed by Nick Rogers. And you can see that right here on the blade. I kind of like that. Nice and fancy. I'm all about the curse of writing. You know what I'm saying? And there's your AR RPM 9 steel. And wow, I, I'm telling you what, the ergos, the action, everything is great on this knife. We'll see how this factory edge cuts here in just a second. First, here's a couple quick size comparisons and I have a fun one coming up. It's coming up here in just a second. It's the QSP Penguin. And then look at this. It's the CJRB Ruffian. If you like the ones that have a nice tip you know you, you got to have a nice tip then this these i'm telling you these are some good flat grinds i really like them and here's another one of my all-time favorite carry knives that i use outside it's the spider co tenacious oh yeah would you look at it and of course one of my favorite all-time other knives <laughs> i have so many all-time favorites oh my god <laughs> it's the kaiser sheepdog with the bean hole would you look at them just look at them. I mean, would you observe them? Just observe them. So look at the difference here. You have these screw holes and the screws. This one, look how clean. It is It is very, very different that you don't see the pivot. I like it. It makes it so sleek. How many times am I going to say that? And here are two more in the second one. Wait till you see how small this second knife is. Here's the Sincut Wataga. This one is very similar in length. And if you look at the blade, the sharpened length, they're very, very similar. Except for you have just a tad more on the new Ahab. And here's the small knife that I wanted to show you all. Are you ready for this? It's a little fifth pocket carry, you know, a little tiny knife. The artisan proponent. Oh, now, would you look at that? I mean, just look at it. This is an absolute fun knife. I have a video on this if you want to go see all the details. Matter of fact, I, have, I will have links in the description to all these knives that you're seeing in the video. And you can search my channel and see all the other knives if you want to check out more descriptions about them. But I thought this would be a really fun comparison because a lot of people get this one because it is a fun knife knife for knife collectors. Not to mention the fact you can put a pen in here and just go to town with it. Let's see how this edge is on a piece of paper. It's never cut anything. Ooh, very, ooh, very nice. You listen, listen to how quiet. 
Would you listen? Just listen. Ooh, wow. Okay, this this is a very clean feel. I'm not feeling any grab at all. Woohoo, yeah. A quick note on the fit and the finish. It is absolutely solid left and right. Nothing up and down. And it is centered for our lockup. And our centering is right there in the middle, right where you want it. The action is superb. It is very easy to reverse flick. It's smooth and those, oh, I love these thumb studs because they have a little bit of grippage. You know, when you give me jipping on a thumb stub, you make me happy. Now there is no jipping on the blade, but that's okay. Look at that, how snappy. Now you can open this with your with your thumb. You can reverse flick it. You can also slow roll it open for a little swingy swing. And now look at this. This poon is just a perfect ramp for your index finger for doing utility cuts or cutting into a box or whatever you're gonna do. You gotta cut into your tactical donuts, right? And look at this. Oh yeah, you, that, that ramp is just so perfectly placed to stretch your thumb out comfortably, to do a little bit of pulling, maybe do a little pushing. And I do like that you can get, it's not a choil per se, but you do have a little jipping right here to give you some grippage. You can get right up next to the blade to do some slicing. The ergonomics on this thing are, are fantastic. It fits my hand very well. I have a large width hand. You all know the size of my hand. The only thing that I would mention is you can feel the inside of the wood liners right here. If you're squishing, you got a little chub chub on your fingers like I do. I can feel it when I'm squishing, but if I'm actually doing some cutting, I don't think that's gonna be a big deal. This isn't going to be a heavy user knife. This is gonna be an EDC everyday carry knife that looks so good. I mean, this is definitely a collector or a gentleman. I mean, imagine if you got this for a friend, someone that you know, this looks fantastic. I am so glad I have the wood. The G10 version would be better probably for grippage on the hand, but I have no problem getting a good grip on this knife. So the Artisan Cutlery Ahab, I like it. It's sleek. I love how they've hidden a bunch of the features. Just two screws on this side, and those are T6s. And then on this side, you have one screw, and you can't even see the second one because it's underneath the pocket clip. So if you want to take it apart, you'll definitely take, take it apart from this show side. And at the time of this video, these are on sale on Amazon. I will put the link to the Artisan Cutlery website and to Amazon because I noticed that Artisan is selling these and there's a discount, there's a 15% cube clippable coupon that's gonna make these run 50 bucks. I don't know that you're ever gonna get them cheaper than that for a long time. That's my best guess. I think for $50. This is a great, I mean, a great everyday carry knife. It's not the hardiest, like not one that I would probably take to the job site, but you might, it might be your preference, but I like it. it has great action, great ergos, great fit and finish, and it is a beautiful, beautiful knife. This one will get pocket time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go watch that one. I know you're really gonna enjoy the knives are in there, but until I see you in the chats or in the hive stream on Friday nights at 8.15 p.m. Eastern time, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.